The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Welcome everyone, especially our subscribers, to our daily doctrinal Bible study through the YouTube. Today we have a new topic and uh, it is entitled Victory Over Death. Okay, first of all, since death is absolutely in God's hands, you can eliminate it from your list of worries. Neither the threat of violence or terrorism nor any form of deadly weapon like SARS, anthrax, Ebola virus, coronavirus, no one can remove you from this life until the Lord so allows. Your demise is strictly the decision of God. You have no control as to the time, the manner, or the place of death. You see, death is the sovereign decision of God's infallible wisdom, impeccable integrity, and unqualified love for you as a member of Christ's royal family. God's perfect justice and perfect righteousness guarantee that He is absolutely fair in His decision regarding your death. Listen and get this. You never need to question his wisdom concerning your departure or the loss of a loved one. While volition is a determining factor in how you live, the sovereignty of God is the determining factor when you die. How well you die when the time comes for the Lord to take you home depends on your spiritual life. Since death is an expression of God's will, and He desires only the best for you, believer. Dying is profit. Philippians 1.21 And do you know why it is profit? Because every believer gains infinitely more in eternity than the wealthiest, most powerful, most privileged person who has ever lived. Numerous passages in the Word of God instruct the believer not to fear death. Death for the believer is going to sleep, and who is afraid to go to sleep? Listen, death is going home, and who is afraid to go home? Death is arriving face to face with the Lord, and who is afraid to be face to face with the Lord? Death is God's victory. Whether you are carnal or spiritual, a winner or a loser believer, in spiritual maturity or Christian degeneracy, your death will always be his triumph. In 1 Corinthians 15, 55, it says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is your victory? Verse 57 but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. In Psalm 116, verse 15, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. In Job 1, 21, And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now here are six principles that summarize the concept of victory over death. Number one, since the believer's death is strictly God's decision, 
The Lord's will for us always embraces victory. Number two, the divine decision regarding the believer's death includes the time, the manner, the place of death. Therefore, nothing can remove the believer from this life except God. Number three, since God is perfect, His timing is perfect in all matters of life and death for the believer. No believer in God's plan can die prematurely. Number four, death is the wise and gracious choice of God and is always in the best interest of the believer. Therefore, none of us has the right to question God's perfect wisdom. Number five, no circumstances, no terrorism, no warfare, not even the coronavirus pandemic can remove the believer from this life without divine consent. The believer is always under God's protection. And number six, in death, we are absent from the body and face to face with the Lord. We are in a place of perfect happiness. Psalm 16, 11. Revelation 21 4 says, And he, meaning God, shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall no longer be any death. There shall no longer be any mourning or crying or pain. The first things, the mortal or living face, have passed away. We are grateful, Heavenly Father, for the wonderful privilege of examining these things together, which are so important. We thank you for this Bible study through the YouTube. May God the Holy Spirit then challenge us to persist in our study, for we ask this in Christ's name. Amen.